to episode three of Big Freaking Frank. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Uh, last time, I had an awesome interview with Colby. Like a bonehead, I didn't have my microphone with me. I just happened to catch her at the gym. I hope you were able to hear it. You know, I know a lot of guys were complaining about the sound quality, and, and I will always have a microphone on me from now on. Um, I feel really bad because... Colby really had an awesome message. Um, you know, she broke her arm during arm wrestling. She didn't quit. Uh, she changed sports, but just ended up with a bad coach. So there's a warning in there about going with people that you think know what they're doing, and they they really don't. And, you know, what she has to go through uh, with her heart and with her organs and, and thyroid and everything, but she just keeps going. And that is kind of the theme that I want to go through, that I want to go with, with the series. Now, I just had the Buffalo Sports Expo. I have to say, Mike Del Zappo and uh, Luke Bright, you guys from Eat Right Foods, did an amazing job with that expo. I couldn't, I can't say enough. Guys, I don't care. I, I kept saying if you're in or around Buffalo, you got to come to it. But after experiencing it, it myself, it was better than what I even pictured. And I've been everywhere. I've been to the show of strength. I've been to the Arnold. I've been to the Olympia. I've been to Toronto. I've been everywhere. Guys, you have to experience this expo next year. They're going to do it two days in a row. Um, it was at the Buffalo River Works. If you're not from Buffalo, you don't know. It. It's an old, old, old warehouse that they redid. It's right on the water. Just, it's such a beautiful location. So cool. There was no problems. Everybody was awesome to each other. I can't describe the size of it. Um, the the strongman was, was set apart, and that was absolutely incredible. Um, huge, huge, huge. The CrossFit area was enormous. Um, you know, the bodybuilding show was fantastic. Uh, the Primeranos did a great job at the bodybuilding show. Just everything really fell into place. And, and it was like, if you're into fitness or bodybuilding or strongman or powerlifting or whatever you're into, I am telling you, it's, it's like the dream expo to go to. Um, just awesome. And, and you know, I, I had my boot there. I was representing Humagenics and, and uh, Ginger Heat. Um, you know, I, I obviously Country Crush, who, uh, who puts on this show. So uh, thank you to Ray Cody uh, for, you know, putting on this show for us and allowing me to do what I do and, and bring a little bit of me to, uh, to the people who watch. Um, you know, people love the handle. They thought it was awesome. And of course, you know, I will always um, represent 5% as well. So a lot of people came over just knowing, you know, uh, my involvement with 5%. So it was, it was just an awesome, awesome time. And, you know, while I was there, I, can, I can't tell you the countless stories. My God, you people touch my heart like I never thought possible. You, you guys thank me. You know, a lot of you thank me for what I do for you. What you guys do for me, I can't even put into words. You know, I, there, there, I, I have, I have a lot of clips I'm going to share. You know, on this episode, um, you know, JP came up to me and, and he told me about how he was a high school wrestler and he broke his neck, and uh, they said he'd never walk again and and you know he'd be paralyzed and and he fought through that. And he, now he's uh, competing in bodybuilding. He wrote me a while ago and said that that was his dream. And I told him, you know, anything is possible if you believe in it. And to see him just walk up to me and, and the fact that he's been competing, I, I'm, I'm just speechless. 
Alright guys, this is Big Frank. I am here at the Buffalo Sports Expo. We have to change the name. Buffalo Sports Expo. And I am with RP and RP just came over and told me a very touching story. RP, tell me tell me kind of what happened. What's your story? Well, when I was 16, I broke my neck wrestling for high school wrestling, just trying to keep in shape for football. And it just, the doctors told me that I would never play contact sports or walk again. And I just, with uh, my mind frame, I just want to prove them wrong. And there's many of other people that inspired me with the same story. So I just got involved in bodybuilding from a broken neck, I guess. That's absolutely incredible. How many shows have you done so far? I've d- done uh, maybe four, four or five. Awesome. I'm, uh, so you did the Buffalo? Yeah, I did the Buffalo. Um, and uh, that was about six years ago, and I'm just trying to grow into this whole bodybuilding lifestyle. I have to say, Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Bailey are two of the coolest people on earth. Uh, you know, Joe Piatero, um, you know, the owner of uh, Muscle Sport Magazine, he had back surgery, so I had, you know, a few people, you know, wish him well and whatever. The Baileys were so super cool. It was awesome. Um, you know, it, I've seen expos where people are in line to meet people, right? And everyone just looked miserable, like they're on a, a ride at, a, at an amusement park. But at this expo, it, it wasn't like that. You know, even the people who were who were in line, they were still having fun, and, and I'll, t- I'll tell you, bars were open, and food getting served, and, and you name it, it was there, there was music, it was it was just awesome, it was such an amazing, amazing time, the Baileys were super cool to do that in. Right, hey guys, this is Big Frank reporting from Muscle Sport Magazine, oh, Frank. With, <laughs> you know, with the Baileys, with the Baileys. Why is it called Small Frank? It's like, that's like a play on words, like you're, you're tiny... Tiny Frank. Oh, Tiny man. Frank. She's an ass. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> so, it's so, so I'm here with Rob Bailey. Here I am. I'm here with Big Frank. And just want to wish Joe Piatero a very speedy recovery. Joe just had back surgery, so these two have something to say. Recover, recover quick, man. I've had a lot of cranberry and vodka. <laughs> <laughs> to be completely honest. Recover quick, man. I've never had back surgery. I never want to have it, and I can't imagine how you're doing, but... It's on back. It's on it. <laughs> Would you say something? Yeah, say something. Uh, have a speedy recovery. <laughs> All right, cool. So All these years, Michael Hearn and I have always missed each other, and we've written back and forth saying, you know, we were going to meet, and then, you know, we always missed each other, and and whatever so I finally caught up with him you know we talked a bit about Rich and you know just life and movies and and my direction and and his direction and you know some things some cool things he has coming up which I'm super excited to watch him with that and he's going to follow me with some of the stuff I have going on so what a cool guy what an icon at 49 years old this guy I swear to God is just unbelievable is in unbelievable shape and if you've never seen Mike O'Hearn in person you got to check out this guy's legs that was the, the first thing I noticed was this guy's legs are enormous so you know <laughs> I'm sure all of you guys follow Mike O'Hearn but if you don't you have to because what just a breath of fresh air he is to this industry because he's been in it forever he's seen the good he's seen the bad he's been through it all and the guy just still looks amazing talk about longevity i mean if you're going to listen to someone you gotta you gotta listen to someone who's who's been in for a long time now i'm 47 years old to see him you know uh, even older than me keep going i think that's that's just awesome so i want to you know thank mike o'hearn for taking the time with that and then Later on, my friend Matt uh, brought his, fia- you know, now fiance uh, Carly, um, but brought his girlfriend to the expo, and we did an interview. And Mike helped me set it up, and and my friend Matt wound up getting engaged, um, you know, in front of everyone. So that was super cool as well. So, you know, I'm telling you guys, next year, Buffalo uh, Sports Expo, you definitely want to check it out because we are right on, we're right near the border of of uh, Buffalo and Canada. Um, you guys in Toronto and, and you know Niagara Falls and uh, all the surrounding areas in Ontario and whatever you guys got to come check it out. But uh, I have quite a few clips for you guys. You know I think you guys are gonna like it. It was an amazing, amazing time, and uh, you know I, I think that's really cool. Now 
Um, we have quite a few things coming up that I'm excited about. I'm going to be taking you guys to some fun stuff. And, um, you know, I, I hope you guys really continue to uh, continue to follow me. And if you haven't yet, um, I hope you guys check out the Country Crush uh, equipment at countrycrush.net. Now, it was a huge, huge hit at the expo. Um, a lot of people never grabbed the handle before, but once I explained, you know, how the handle articulates and, and, you know, a lot of people use the fat grips, but fat grips don't move. So that can put a lot of stress, all right, on your joints, ligaments, tendons, and whatever. Whereas the Country Crush equipment is taking the stress off. Um, it was designed by Ray Cody for his wife um, after an injury so that she could, have, she could rehab herself. So it's... Um, it's really incredible equipment, and it's not just for uh, arm wrestling. It was developed because they were originally arm wrestlers, but Ray Cody's very much into just strength sports all together. So everything, even conventional sports, you know, football, baseball, basketball, hockey, uh, golf, anything that you need to, in, you know, increase your strength or your grip or... You know, any of that, it is all amazing equipment. Um, I had the power lifters come over. They loved it. I had the strong man come o strong men come over. They're all ordering the handles. So, um, you know, if you like strength, it, it's there's nothing better. And not only can you use it for your pull-downs, curls, push-downs, stuff like that, conventional lifts, but then also there's the deadlift, um, the Country Crush deadlift. And there's a Country, cr country Crush deadlift challenge. And I'll tell you, anybody can prepare for it that's what's cool you don't have to be enormous i mean grip strength is grip strength so you know as long as you're getting those plates off the ground um go to countrycrush.net check out the country crush deadlift challenge now they're having they're going to be doing um shows everywhere all right and then they're going to have a world championship in uh december in california guys check it out you know a lot of you guys you know, maybe maybe at one time you were a power lifter or, or a strong man, or maybe you were a bodybuilder, or maybe you are an arm wrestler, maybe you just played regular sports, maybe you never played any sports, but you want you want to do something, but you know you, you don't think that you, you don't want to do a regular deadlift or you don't want to compete in a squad and, and you see the numbers are crazy and whatever. Try the Country Crush deadlift. I tell, I'm telling you, it's awesome, awesome for you. Full body conditioning. But it's not so taxing that, like, you're not going to get injured. You know, you are not. You can keep longevity with this uh, this type of lift. So uh, definitely check it out. All right. And, guys, I hope you continue to follow me. I promise production keeps getting better now that I have the mic. Uh, I know you can hear everyone during the interviews. I'm sorry about last time. Um, hopefully I get a, a chance to interview Colby again in the future. Um, she lives in Florida, so maybe she'll come up and, you know, we could talk a little bit more. Um, I know it was hard to hear, but she just had such an incredible story, and I really didn't have a chance to, to talk to her any other time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that, and we're going to have some more guests coming on. Um, I'm going to do some, some like, interviews. You know, some weeks we'll do interviews. Some weeks we're going to go places. Um, some weeks I'm just going to talk about things that might help you guys. So um, every week is going to be a little different. Uh, this week I just want to share a little bit from the expo and, and talk a little bit and tell you guys about it. Uh, I was really, really thrilled about it. And, um, you know, next year I, I hope you guys check it out. Now, if you guys have an expo, and, uh, you know, you're interested in bringing Big, Big Frank to it, you know, let me know uh, if I'm available. If, <laughs> if I'm available, I'll certainly check my schedule, see if I can't make it out there. Um, you know, I, I love getting out and meeting people, especially the people who follow me, and uh, we really have a good time. And feedback is that, you know, people like like to meet me in person, and <laughs> the number one comment was, whoa, you're bigger in person. So that was, that was kind of funny, but... Um, I hope you follow me each week, each week, guys. All right. Thank you. And thank you to Country Crush and Muscle Sport Magazine. All right. God bless you guys. Okay. So, guys, this is Big Frank reporting for Muscle Sport Magazine with the Titan, Michael Hearn. All right. And we're sending out a very special message to Joe Pietaro, who just had back surgery. So, we're just going to say, get well soon. Yeah, get well soon. You know that. We just uh, got to come back from this stuff. Yep. And Joe, you're going to be good now. I want to introduce you to a couple friends of mine. 
super spot in. Yeah. So, my, uh, this my, is my, my friend buddy. Matt, my best friend here, his girlfriend Carly. Hi. Come on over and here, guys. Step in between us. Okay, oh, be careful. So, um, do you have any questions for Mike? Uh, Mike, would you mind if I uh, propose to my girlfriend? I think that's appropriate. Maybe we marry me? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you.